Plenty of excitement all across DeLand as the Hatters prepare to take on the big dance. We were at Stetson University Sunday afternoon where a crowd of fans gathered at the Student Union to see where their beloved Hatters would be headed for March Madness. And it might not have been the matchup that they were hoping for going toe-to-toe -to -toe with last year's national champ, UConn. But the Hatters say, bring it on. New Six's Molly Reed is in DeLand today. How's the energy on campus out there, Molly? Well, Justin, it's really starting to pick up. We do have some fans showing up finally on campus and downtown getting ready to say goodbye to the Hatters. Of course, the students are here very excited as well. We also just stopped in to a couple downtown restaurants and shops. Those merchants said that they will be on the street in two hours at 2 o'clock getting ready to say goodbye to them. Now, this is how it's going to work. They're going to have the buses packed here at the Edmond Center on campus. Then they will have the team go around the south side of campus, then come through downtown here on Woodland Boulevard and then back through campus to say goodbye. The city really wanting to do this, obviously to celebrate history being made here at Stetson University, but also because we got to pump these guys up, right? The number 16 seed Hatters taking on again the number one seed reigning champs, UConn. But we did catch up with a couple of the players and coach yesterday, and they are going in confident. We're just like them. I mean, we're in the tournament, they're in the tournament. We can beat anybody. And we just give it all. I mean, we're here to win. This March Madness, anything's possible. We've been doing it all year, so why not Friday? From a coaching standpoint, it's to put those guys in a, in a mindset of being able to walk in, 40-minute game. Uh, it's not the NBA where you got to win four or seven. It's one game. So I just think for those guys to go in and play with freedom, play with confidence, and uh, just try to keep us in the moment uh, when that time comes. Of course, a lot of confidence there. Now, if Stetson is able to pull this off on Friday, they would be only the third team in history to take down the number one seed as the number 16 seed. But back here on campus again today, we are celebrating the history that they have made here, this basketball team. They're supposed to be getting on the bus here at 2 o'clock and heading to the airport to head up to Brooklyn, New York. In DeLand, Volusia County, and Molly Reed getting results, News 6. Go Hatters. All right, Molly, thank you.